Welcome to Brock's 10 minute tip on four reasons to switch to a tube conveyor. My name is Tyler Ginder and I am the product manager for Brock's handling segment. Before we begin talking about switching to a tube conveyor, let's review several pieces of conveying equipment which we will be talking about today. The first and most common method of conveying grain on a farm is an auger. An auger uses a screw to move grain through a round tube. They typically come in tube diameters ranging from 6 inches to 12 inches. A few applications on a farm include bin sweep auger, bin unload auger, and a bin fill auger. The second method of conveying is a drag conveyor. It utilizes a chain equipped with paddles that moves grain through a rectangular box. The top picture shows a traditional conveyor that utilizes a short flight these conveyors are typically limited to no more than a 12 degree incline. They are the lowest cost drag conveyor because up to 80% of the box is used for moving grain and only a small amount is used for the returning chain. The bottom picture shows an incline conveyor that utilizes a tall flight. This tall flight helps to stop material from falling back while the chain goes up through the incline. These conveyors can be used on angles up to 45 degrees. These conveyors can typically only use 50% of the box for moving grain. Thus, these conveyors tend to be a higher cost than a traditional drag conveyor because the box size required is larger to move the same amount of grain. The third method of conveying is a tube conveyor. It utilizes a chain equipped with paddles that moves the grain through a round tube. They typically come in tube diameters ranging from 6 inches to 12 inches. These conveyors can be used on inclines ranging from 0 to 45 degrees. They can typically be seen filling bins, filling dryers, or transferring grain between other handling equipment. So not only can grain enter at the inlet and then be discharged at the end, these conveyors can also be used across the peaks of multiple bins, discharging just about anywhere along the conveyor. This ability to operate in a wide range of scenarios makes the tube conveyor a great option for any grain handling system. The first reason to switch to a tube conveyor is the increased capacity over an auger. Tube conveyor capacities range from 1500 to 10,000 bushel per hour. This is a 15 to 25 percent increase over an auger. Another added benefit of a tube conveyor is that the capacity is not significantly reduced when running higher moisture grains. The above auger capacities are based on 15% moisture corn, and these auger capacities will decrease when running higher moisture grains. So the tube conveyor's capacity increase is even larger when compared to high moisture grains. The second reason to switch to a tube conveyor is that they are less cost than a drag conveyor. For this comparison, we will look at the scenario of a tube conveyor filling a wet holding bin, both a tall flight drag conveyor and a tube conveyor can be used in this scenario. In this scenario, the tube conveyor is 20% less than a tall flight drag conveyor. But some of you might ask, well, what about compared to a short flight drag conveyor? So let's take a look at that scenario as well. This scenario shows a tube conveyor and a drag conveyor, both running above three 36 foot diameter Brock grain bins. Both types of conveyors can be used to fill these grain bins. However, due to the tube on tube construction of the tube conveyor, they can free span lengths of 40 to 50 feet versus only 10 to 20 feet for a drag conveyor. This longer free span length allows the tube conveyor to free span the distance between bin peaks with no additional support. In the scenario above, the drag conveyor requires an additional supporting structure between the bins due to reduced free span distance. These additional structures will further increase the cost of the drag conveyor when compared to the tube conveyor, making the tube conveyor the more economical conveying method. The third reason to switch to a tube conveyor is that they can operate at steeper inclines than a traditional drag conveyor. For this comparison, we will look at the scenario of filling a low profile dryer. A typical drag conveyor is limited to approximately a 12 degree incline. This means that the drag conveyor needs to be around 75 feet long to fill the dryer. But a tube conveyor can be inclined up to 45 degrees. 
The tube conveyor is 50 feet shorter than the drag conveyor. The steeper angle allows the tube conveyor inlet to be located much closer to the dryer than the drag conveyor, allowing for the area around the dryer to be better used for other handling or storage needs. The fourth reason to switch to a tube conveyor is that they offer gentler grain handling when compared to an auger. As the auger rotates in the tube, it pulls down and pinches grain between the tube and auger flighting. This pinching of grain causes grinding and breakage. Also, any worn flighting creates larger pinch points, which will allow for more grain to be damaged. And remember, all auger flighting will wear as the auger ages, which will cause further damage to the grain. In a tube conveyor, the paddles push grain through the tube, and the only friction on the grain is along the bottom layer of grain. The paddle stays perpendicular to the tube as it travels through, which does not introduce any new pinch points as it moves. Also, as the paddles wear, no additional pinch points are created or increased in size because of this wear, and the individual paddles that become worn out or broken can be replaced individually. Another item to remember when selecting a conveyor is that all grains become more fragile to handle at lower moisture contents, so you may want to put more of an emphasis on gentle handling equipment when moving dry grains. A quick review of the four reasons to switch to a tube conveyor are Tube conveyors offer 15 to 25 percent more capacity than an auger. Tube conveyors cost 20 percent less than an incline drag conveyor. Tube conveyors can move grain at steeper inclines than typical drag conveyors. And last, tube conveyors move grain more gently than augers, creating less breakage and damage to the grain. Now let's watch a short video on Brock's Grain Drive T1000 tube conveyor. Brock Grain Systems just reinvented grain conveying with the better and stronger Grain Drive T1000 tube conveyor. It's the solution you've been waiting for to upgrade your grain handling system. Its drag action is gentle on grain, while its heavy-duty components are built to move large grain capacities, up to 10,000 bushels per hour. The Brock Grain Drive T1000 tube conveyor features a one-piece attachment of flights for extra durability. The angled tail corner provides more clearance for inclined applications. The box retains less grain and includes a slide-out door for easy clean-out. The wide tail hopper makes loading simpler, with grain efficiently entering the chain in front of the tail sprocket. Intermediate inlet hoppers can be added anywhere along the tube and drop grain directly to the moving chain. The modular design of the intermediate discharge units provide flexibility for the grain drive tube conveyor to be easily configured in multi-bin grain systems. Electric or manual intermediate discharge gates feature roller bearings for jam-free operation and long life. Multiple inclines can be achieved with inlet hoppers and discharge transitions available in 0, 30, and 45 degree options. Drives can be located at the head or tail, and all surfaces are galvanized for durability. You can choose TA2 or optional direct drive MTA motors. The Grain Drive T1000 is designed so drives and chains are maintained in the same location. That means, for most applications using tail drives, critical chain tensioning can be completed from the ground. Brock uses strong U.S.-made bearings and upgrades to spherical bearings for applications that require longer runs, larger diameters, or steeper inclines. Like all Brock grain handling equipment, new Grain Drive T1000 tube conveyors are designed to install easier, work harder, and last longer. Learn more at BrockGrain.com. For more information on tube conveyors and other 10-minute tips from Brock, visit our website at BrockGrain.com tips. From everyone at Brock, thank you and have a great day.